Arirang Special. The ladies who still have hope despite suffering from infertility are starting to seek out Maria Fertility Hospital. Mrs. Jennifer Hardin from the U.S. is one such patient. Having a baby is a naturally given happiness for people who have joined together in love. But to Mrs. Hardin, it was something that required much pain and effort. After many attempts, they put their last hope on this hospital, and it led to a successful impregnation. Soon, the baby Mrs. Hardin and her husband so desperately wished for will be born into this world. Surreal, you know, just uncertain, like, is this real? Maybe, maybe I read the test wrong. Um, but after, you know, we confirmed it here at Maria Hospital, yeah, really excited. <laughs> excited and nervous and uh, the quality of care is really good. I just felt like they listened, the interpreters and Dr. Lee, um, they always answered all my questions and they were really patient with me. <laughs> she suffered from infertility for the past few years and she failed two times of IUI. So I suggested she does a IVM, in vitro maturation. Uh, which is a procedure that we use no fertility drugs, so we sh so she doesn't have any complications from conventional IVF, and now she's successfully pregnant with twins. The in vitro maturation is an infertility treatment that Maria Hospital mainly conducts. This procedure not only shows a high success rate, but can also prevent side effects from occurring on the ovaries. Thanks to its abundant clinical experience, the hospital holds unrivaled technology in this area. With the successful birth of the first test tube baby in 1978, the creation of life became possible with human efforts. About 3,000 test tube babies are born at Maria Hospital every year, and the hospital continues to work hard to improve its pregnancy rate. Mr. Brian Bentz, who turned 43 this year, had a vasectomy 20 years ago and currently cannot produce sperm the normal way. He married his wife three years ago and now dreams of having a child. Although the couple failed to get pregnant on their first IVF attempt, they sought out Maria Fertility Hospital for their second try. So instead of getting a reversal done, we're doing an IVF. And that, that's the way we're choosing. I mean, she's all healthy and ready to go. And I was the one that, you know, couldn't produce because of the vasectomy. So 
they have a, a method here to where they can extract it, and that's what we did. And that's the reason why we're here at Maria Clinic. We just you know, try and try. I know I'm not the only one who did, you know, who feel like this, but we just still, there's a hope, so. Infertility is not only a physical problem, but uh, a lot of patients are much depressed and they are vulnerable because they experience a failure to have a baby. And the most important thing for us to do is to keep encouraging them so they don't give up and let them know that they eventually are going to have a baby. Maria Fertility Hospital also runs the Mind Body Center for women who have troubles conceiving. Music and yoga therapies as well as laughter therapy helps the patients to overcome their fears and insecurities over infertility. According to the survey done by the hospital, the pregnancy rate of the patients who participated in music therapy was 6% higher than those who didn't. Mind body medicine covers a variety of techniques to enhance uh, mind's capacity to affect body function and symptoms. There is no evidence that negative emotions actually cause disease, but stress and negative emotion can be unhealthy. We believe that the way to conceive also should be comfortable and happy. That's why we provide mind-body mind -body medicine programs for our patients. The purpose of infertility treatments, which shows astonishing developments, lies in conceiving a precious life. Maria Fertility Hospital knows the heavy responsibility of their duty and implements the IVF Guardian program in place that takes care of the patients from their appointments to procedures. The IVF Guardian program, independently developed by Maria Hospital, uses QR codes recorded with information and fingerprints of the patient and the patient's spouse to verify the right patient when doing IVF or artificial insemination. At each stage of the process, the patient and the clinical specimen are checked to see if they match, thereby improving the safety and accuracy of the procedure. The brain tissue is actually a little bit of a problem. The brain tissue is actually a little bit of a problem. The brain tissue is actually a little bit of a problem. It's a very good thing to do, but it's a very good thing to do. So, we have this time, 그 난자 정자 배아가 그 처리 중에 혹은 시술 중에 바뀌지 않게 하기 위한 그 최첨단의 시스템을 어, 새로 개발을 해서 임상에 적용을 하고 있습니다. Mrs. Sarah De Blois came to Korea a month ago with a wish to become a mother. Although she's been married for seven years, she is still childless. An accident that happened 10 years ago is the cause of her difficulty in getting pregnant. Although she has visited many hospitals in her own country, she didn't succeed in getting pregnant and Maria Hospital was her last hope. Despite her fervent wishes, the success rate of her getting pregnant was only 20%. On top of this, she suffered from fears of failure and anxiety of being in a foreign country. However, she decided to try again, encouraged by Maria Fertility Hospital's high success rate. And her belief that she will succeed came true. And so for the last few months, I've been really in search which place to go. And so I was really praying to God to guide me to pick the right place. And then I come across to MariaBaby.com. And so I checked the site and I was impressed. The doctors look very competent and they have very good program. One thing I really like and I'm very thankful about Maria Fertility Hospital is that the way they take care of their patients. Like me, I'm a foreigner. Unlike our mothers who became moms in their 20s, it has become a social trend for men to continue on with their studies and career. This has resulted in postponement of the age to become a mom. 
This is why we urge couples to pay more attention to their biological clocks before it's too late and visit fertility clinics to have fertility evaluations that they might need. The infertility treatment has a big impact on not just the patient, but her family as well. Therefore, the medical staff's special care and attention to the patient are greatly needed. The birth of a child is the most precious gift that a couple may receive. However, some people suffer much to gain such a gift. The infertility treatment is a way to bring joy to couples to whom the possibility of pregnancy has become the measure of happiness. Maria Fertility Hospital will continue to work hard to help couples around the world that have trouble having babies to achieve their dreams.